today uh, we're going to be continuing on with the pacifist story okay uh, now first of all just a, a heads up uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to be streaming today uh, there's a possibility I might need to stop the stream short uh, so I just want to let obviously people be aware of that what we're going to do though is we are going to continue and this time we're actually going to be facing up against Undyne so uh, before we do though there are a few things that I want to show yourselves so we're just starting from where we were before uh, if you haven't seen my previous streams you can see them either on Twitch where they are still saved uh, or you can so first of all what we're going to do is we're actually going to go back the way uh, I, if any of you have seen the first stream that I did with the pacifist story we actually found the dog shrine uh, within that dog shrine it was pretty bare, pretty empty but I've taken the time to actually go through and fully complete the dog shrine so we're first of all, we're going to have a quick look at the dog shrine see how that's getting on so <clears throat> yeah, facing against Stundine last time I faced against her I didn't do very well so I can't remember if it's this way or if it's the other way let me just remember how to go back again Ah, here we go, it's this way. So if none of you have seen this before, this is a, a lovely little silly bit of the game. This little bird wants to carry you across. We're going to get a ride from this little bird. <laughs> and the music is just brilliant for it. epic music for it. Nice little birdie. So we're going to continue on our trail. Again, we're going to go back to Snowden because that's where the dog shrine was. And we are going to see what I hear. He's going to take us back where we can actually get to Snowden. Three gold for the ferry. Up on! Thanks for stepping on my face. Here's the three gold. So for some odd reason we get paid when he gives us a lift, but I'm not going to question it. So it might take a few moments just while we get back the way. So we're going to flex with Aaron. Ooh. It's not ooh, too bad when it's the raindrops, although I did get hurt, but never mind. For some reason I can do the raindrops really well, but it's when he flexes that's when I can't seem to dodge him very well. Bye! So one good thing as well when you're coming back is that it keeps the puzzle pieces so you don't need to keep doing the puzzles. Even though I didn't build this bridge, I built a different one. It keeps those puzzle pieces there so that you don't have to constantly keep doing them again. I'm all small. We're just going to spare them just now. We want to see the dog shrine. We've got no time for wasting. I'll just recover health. Right. And just avoid the the blocks. So apologies last time I did miss out on a few secrets. Uh, we had Glide who uh, killed me first go. Uh, sadly he has disappeared now. Uh, he only appears up until when you fight Papyrus. Uh, that unfortunately means now that we're not able to, to fight him again. Uh, same with, uh, there was another secret, um, 
that I tried to go back with an umbrella. Uh, basically to cheer up a little monster kid. Unfortunately though, um, there's a certain time that you need to, to do these um, going back and forth and I didn't do it at the right time so that has now disappeared as well. So I do apologise for that. And now we have the craziness which is the dog shrine which took me a very long time and it's quite loud so I'm going to turn my volume down a little bit. So... I'm not, I can't remember how much money we have donated to the dog, but it was a lot. I had to do a little bit of grinding to get a bit more money for the dog. And we have this very lovely shrine for him. So we're going to go and see each of the, um, the, the items to see what exactly the dog has bought for himself. So there was seemingly no point to all of this. Yeah. So first of all we have this. It's a framed letter from the Shrine Certification Committee. Apparently, the dog applied to have its shrine officially recognised. It was completely rejected. It doesn't seem to have realised that at all. And the record player. The boombox is playing an upbeat song. It's having a psychological effect on your desire to donate. It's not clear what kind of effect that is. If you change it, what happens is it gets faster. And crazy. Huh? The next track is just the same, but faster? Yeah, we've all, he also bought himself a wacky, wavable, and playable tube man. <laughs> we'll just leave the music as crazy as it is, you know, so you can really appreciate the dog shrine. We also have this uh, CD. Looks like the dog bought a CD for the boombox, but it's a game CD, so it won't work. We have uh, this. It's a tap to dispense dog food in the walls. If you also notice as well, the dog is now sleeping. <laughs> so the dog is actually here. This was the first item that he buys. Dumplings. They look slightly nibbled. Looks like the dog didn't like them very much. So far, the donation money has been totally wasted. And that was the very first item that you buy for the dog. And then we have this, uh, this lovely frame here. A framed photo of Papyrus. Looks like he's having fun making some kind of pasta. And we have this as well. Huh? Blueprints? Literally, it's white paper, but covered in little blue paw prints. Wait, blue paw prints? Could it be a clue? No, it's totally useless. As every item in this room is that I have used so much money to get. The dog spent all of the money on a piece of rope. However, it's really not very much rope for the amount spent. Seems like the dog got ripped off. And we have an another piece of rope. It's another piece of rope. It's not even any bigger than the last one. We have our, our, our wacky friend here. Some kind of inflatable mascot. It's not clear how this is going to encourage anyone to donate. And we have a, another last frame here. A framed photo of Papyrus. It's a bit blurry, but it looks like he's angrily chasing the photographer. So that is the craziness that is the dog shrine. So, we are going to continue with our story. And apologies, that means going all the way back again. But it means that we got to see the uh, the bird that takes us over the... What, what's the song called? The Disproportionately Small Gap, I think it's called. Um, so we got to see the fun that is that and the craziness that is the dog shrine which takes a lot of money for and actually if you play it through on the PlayStation you get a trophy for every time that you've donated uh, until you get a certain item for the dog shrine uh, and the first few ones were just you know you're being silly you're being daft and then when you get to the end of it it, it says something like have you got nothing better to do 
So um, the achievements are quite good fun when it's on the PlayStation and you're playing this. Actually, most of the achievements were for the Dog Shrine. I think you get one for completing the story on Pacifist. Can't remember exactly what the achievements are, but most of them are actually for the Dog Shrine. We'll just let these guys go along. Actually, how much money do I have? I've only got 40 gold again after spending it all on the Dog Shrine, so... Yeah, well, we'll get a little bit from this guy here. Again, we're going to see another little uh, secret once we get back. So if you didn't see the last, uh, or the end of the last episode, uh, we came upon, uh, upon sorry, Nastablux house. So we're going to have a little wander in Nastablux house. Take me back! Don't know how he's strong enough to carry me, but... Such epic music for it. Thank you very much. Right. So, we are back here. Now, is it this one? No. So, this is the house we can't go into yet. But we will be going into later. Maybe you can guess whose house it is. We're going into Nastablux house. So which, uh, is it this one? Oh, no. Not that one. This will be Nastablux. Oh, I should have I should have actually realised. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Thanks, Nasta Blook. So we've got one wee secret that we can do with uh, Nasta Blook, which if I remember is... Uh, which song is it? So we've got these little songs that Nasta Blook makes. So this one is Gulliday Music. We'll give it a try. Not too bad, but that's it. I'm playing again, so we'll listen to the next one. I think this one maybe. So this one is Spookwave. Might be this one that we need to play for the secret. Not too bad we tunes, to be honest. Nice to look. See what this one is. Spook tunes. Oh, I think it is this one actually. So what we're gonna do is come out here and yep, here we go. What the heck is that music? I, I don't know, dude, but it's spooking me out. This is worse than Sharon. No way. Sharon is way less scary. If you're so scared, why do you keep winking? These are winks of fear! Forget it. This beat is too... filthy. Wash! Wait for being creepy! Please! Stop! I'll never be creep again! Ah! So that is a little bit of of fun there. We're gonna stop the music now though, because otherwise it's gonna keep going and going and going. So we're gonna stop it. Talk to Nastablook. Uh do you wanna listen to some tunes or something? Not got much to say. See what's in his fridge. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. He's got nice hospitality. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Let's try the ghost sandwich. 
You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh. Never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Yeah. Let's let's feel like garbage. Okay. Follow my lead. So we're gonna lie on the ground. Here we go. You lie down as long as you don't move. So only move around when you want to get up, I guess. And have a nice lie down here with Nasta Blook. And the music's starting to get quiet. Things start to get a bit crazy. I don't know what else happens here. I've only seen it go like this. I don't know if you stay down for a real long time something happens. But yeah. For feeling like garbage, it looks pretty. But we're gonna get up. Well, that was nice. Thank you. See you later. Well, we're actually not. We're gonna see you again soon. So. Here he is again. <laughs> Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Blook Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. I can't even think of who that would be. But that's something that's really quite cool. NASA Blake starts to disappear when you go away from him. Yes, he has a snail farm, some questionable snails. We also have this though, which is good fun. Hey right, again. Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10G to play. I've not got much money, but yeah, let's play it. Okay. Press X repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? Let's, let's do this. Right. Go on, go, go, go. The yellow snail's not very fast. And it's stopping. He's upside down! <laughs> In his shell as well. Oh, looks like you encourage your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. Yeah, you, you actually can't win Thunder Snail. You can, you can do it again and play it where you don't encourage the snail and you just get told well you should encourage more <laughs> so there's no way of winning that but it's just for a nice bit of fun I'm not doing it again though because again as I said I don't have very much money after doing the dog shrine for so long it kind of takes a lot right we are going to have a quick save you feel a calm and tranquility you're filled with determination I'm going to continue on with our quest. What's up here again? Oh yes! Oh there! I've got some neat junk for sale. I don't know if I want to buy anything from you actually. What's that? Invincible longer. Yeah, why not? Because if I actually... Uh, that's most of my money. Or well, pretty much all of my money. Hmm. What healing items do I have? Be careful out there, kid! Thanks. What healing items do I have? I don't have much, really. Now, <laughs> dog residue is an interesting item. Now, I'm not going to do it in, in this playthrough because it takes a long time. Um, 
it just is it's gonna get boring if I do but basically dog residue if you've seen the last episode we had the annoying dog come in and steal an item from us so the dog residue is basically what's left over from that dog an interesting thing with dog residue is that if you use it it fills up all of your inventory items with more dog residue or uh, I think it's dog salad as well which yeah it sounds minging um, which you can then sell so it's a way of grinding in the game to get more money if that's what you want to do but again as I said it takes a long time to do um, and I'm not going to do it while I'm streaming with you guys because it's just it's just going to get boring if I do I'll maybe buy the cloudy glasses because we've got not too bad. Mind you, that says minus two defense. I must have something higher defense. Why am I actually wearing? I actually don't know. I can't remember. Let's see. Uh, no, wrong one. So we've got the manly bandana. Ah, the defense is not too bad of it. We'll, we'll keep the manly bandana. If I remember rightly down here, yeah. So down here there's nothing here just now, but we will see it later on. Is there something we can take at the box or put in the box? We'll put the dog residue in, we don't need that. And that's fine. So we have some more stories. Hurt, beaten and fearful for our lives, we surrender to the humans. Seven of their great- anything can enter through the seal. But only beings with a powerful soul can leave. So this is more of the background of the story of why these monsters are down here and stay down here. There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power, equivalent to seven human souls, attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. Exits, sorry. There is no way a human could come here. Awkward. We will remain trapped down here forever. Now, I think we can go here straight away. We have another secret in here. Well, it's not really a secret because I think everybody pretty much knows of it. But is it here? <laughs> Special enemy Teddy appears here to defeat you. Why hi Temmy. You say hello to Temmy. Hi, I'm Temmy. Ah, oh, oh, I forget how annoying Temmy is. Timmy forgot her other attack. Can we spare Timmy yet? We can. So, interesting creature. Can we? Yep. Let's go visit more of them. So this is Timmy Village. Probably one of the best places in this game. You feel something. You're filled with determination. <laughs> Let's speak to these guys. Hi, I'm Temmy, and this is my friend, Temmy. Hi, I'm Temmy, and this is my friend, Temmy. Hi, I'm Temmy. Don't forget my friend. Hi, I'm Bob. Just one of the most brilliant lines in this game, and it is amazing. And we'll talk to the other Temmies because they're quite good fun. Tim, watch egg. Egg. We'll hatch. Tim. Proud parent. P Tim heard human allergics to Tim. That okay. Tim understand. Tim. Also allergic to Tim. <laughs> Hives. Sorry, Tim. And I think you just talk to us, don't you? Oh, wow, wow, wow. humans, such a cute. Thanks, Tim. And we have the Tim shop. 
<laughs> yes, this is a very weird place. If you um, have the dog residue, you can basically use it, and this is the only shop that you'll actually be able to sell things. They're the only people that will let you sell stuff. Uh, another thing as well, if you notice <laughs> there's only 10 plate you can buy, uh, that's another way that you can actually uh, get money is by just buying a 10 flake on sale and then selling it again because they'll give you more money back. Because why not? Uh, another thing though is if you see at the bottom it's got the 10 pay for <laughs> colleague. Basically if you do get enough money and you pay for college for Tim, uh, she comes back, She's she has a little graduation cap, uh, but after that you can also buy what's called a Temi armor. I'm not going to do it in this one because uh, again it's, it's going to take too long, I mean you've seen that was a thousand, I think the Temi armor is about that as well. Um, and also what it does is the Temi armor basically is the, the highest armor that I think of in this game. Um, and it heals you as well, I believe. So it's a bit of a, not a cheat, but it's a way that if you want to play the game a bit more casually, then you can use that. But we'll, 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 we'll try to be uh, brave and not do that. Um, oh, we kind of go that way. That's right, you go back the way. So that is the fun is Temi Village. I think a lot of people like Temi. Uh, okay, so we have one mold small. The other one is not a mold small though. Let's flirt with this one first. That was nice and to not even a uh... mold small is very normal. No, not quite. Whoa, flirt. You wiggle your hips. Suddenly, we've. Oh, I forgot the attack for this one. Ooh, we've got mold. I think it's bug. No. Trying to remember what we do with mold bug. I think we unhug mold bug. Yes, you don't hug it. It appreciates your respect of its boundaries. Still will attack you. Oh! Jeez. Kind of flew into all of those, my bad. Let me just heal myself up. There we go. Right. Onwards we go. So this area you have to kind of keep doing these. I can't remember, is this a story? Ah. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. And... Oh, no, I went the wrong way. No, I went the wrong way the second time. Wash on Aaron. So we'll go with washer first. Hopefully that'll be okay. Oh. No, trying to get the green. I haven't played this in a little bit, so my my bad. I'm trying to remember the controls. Ha! <laughs> Aaron is admiring his own muscles. Oh no, I hate this one. Oof! It's flex of Aaron. I wish it wasn't in this one. Oh. Oof. I'm actually dodging it not too badly this time. Ah, I spoke too soon. Yep, <laughs> spoke too soon. Hi. So at least 
because I know the astronaut food is uh, quite substantial health that heals. Uh, we got this way, I believe. Oh no, the lights are going out. No. Aha. So we're gonna have a bit more story here, if I remember rightly. Behind you. A little awkward. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul or I'll tear it from your body. Yo! You did it! And Dinah's right in front of you! You've got front row seats to her fight! He's a little stupid. Wait, who's she fighting? Hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Nothing up there, oh well. For some reason, it's a good idea to follow them. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me. You hear a passing conversation. Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around, that's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish too. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return and the underground will go empty. Empty for a good thing or not? Yo! Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean... Undyne told me, uh, stay away from that human. I'm not doing a very good job of it. So, uh, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink of that. <laughs> Yo, uh, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? No. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts. Man, I... I'm such a turd. I'm gonna go home now. 
Bye, little dude. Yo, who, wait, help! I tripped! I don't know if Undyne does anything to us, but let's just hurry up and go. Yo, dude, if 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 you want to hurt my friend, you're gonna have to go for me first. I can't remember if that's the voice I did for that kid, but uh, that's the voice now. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought, haha. <laughs> We'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. You keep falling everywhere. Later, dude. Later. We're continuing on our quest. Apologies, just taking a quick drink. Seven. Seven human souls in King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? Nyaaah! That's why I took a drink. You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alphys's history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordswomen. But you? You're just a coward. Hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again. And let's not forget your wimpy, goody, two-shoes shtick. Oh! I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> I mean, at least she gives me time to get ready. The wind is howling. Filled with determination. Okay. Let's uh, head in. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come. On guard. Oh yes, I remember. Um, okay. So, Van Dyne. We are green, so that means what we have to do to survive against Undyne is quite a bit different. I don't know if I can remember the patterns. As long as you are green, you can't escape. Unless you, unless you learn to face danger head on, you won't last a second against me. So yeah, so we have to block her attacks like that. And then suplex is a huge boulder, just because you can. Not bad. And how about this?
For years, we've dreamed of a happy ending. So this, this is going to get more and more difficult. It's alright at the moment. And I'm bound to use them patiently. And now, sunlight is just within our reach. Ah, oh, I missed that one. Undyne holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. Totally anime style. I won't let you snatch it away from us. I'm not sure if I'm better... I mean, I'm playing this on PlayStation. I'm not sure if I'm better to use the, the, uh, the arrow keys or the analog stick. Yeah, Enough warming up! Oh, wrong one. Ah! Ugh. I think I should just use the analog stick. Uh, we're gonna flee! Wait, Undyne, let me, let me use my items, let me use items! Never mind. You won't get away from me this time. So this is how we fight against Undyne. We actually don't fight her, we run away. I won't look at the quiche. Oh, I was not prepared. Honestly, I'm doing you a favour. I'm gonna try using the analog stick instead. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Oh wait, ah, yep, I remember. Nah, I think I'm better with the arrow keys. Killing you now is an act of mercy. Ah. Trying. So stop being so damn resilient! Oh. I should have just gone up the way. And Diane thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Let's run! Come on, Anai, be cool, be cool! You've escaped from me for the last time! Not quite. Might die. Apologies if I do. Alphys told me humans were determined. Oh, wait, yep. So now we have backwards arrows. You know, just, just to make it more fun. I see now what she meant by that. That we are so cool. Ha! Got that one. But I'm determined too! Uh, no. Oh, wrong way. Almost had that one. Determined to end this right now. Ah, I knew it. I need to get quicker with the analogs, uh, the yellow yeah, buttons. I also actually need to bring some health items. That might be a good idea. Mada, stay determined. So, I'm gonna go back and get some health items. Worth in a minute. Because, you know, it, is, it makes sense to be prepared, and I was not prepared. I'm trying to remember where the last door is. I think we had the turtley guy, if I remember right. We do have Temi Village, but the Temi health items are not very good. They only heal about, I think it's like two or something that you get from them. So they are not very good. Oh. Got a mold bug and a washer. So we'll do a washer first. So, stay still. Ooh. I was doing good at avoiding, but not getting the green. 
try that again. Oof. Right. Oh, jeez. That came in awfully quick. So we'll unhug. Oh yeah, I remember. Ah! There we go. And light. Okay, so apologies, I should have actually got some health items and things. Uh, you know. Thanks. Need to actually not have luck and just have sense and bring health items. Right. There should be a shop near here. She was a turtle guy. How much money have I got? Oh, I've got loads of money now, so I should be fine now. Here we go. Yeah, we're gonna buy some stuff from you now, so let's see. That's not really going to help me because it's more how quickly I can press the button, so I'm just going to leave that one. I'll get some crab apples. Is that our notebook? Oh, that's just uh, that. Um, I'll get one more. Thanks! You can also talk to the shopkeeper guys as well. I'm not in this playthrough just now just because there's no kind of secrets or things like that. Things can change when you talk to them through a uh, pacifist and through the uh, genocide routes. Um, but at the moment, um, just not talking in, in this playthrough. Again, it's just because it's live. Uh, it takes some time. What's unfortunate? Sorry, Mr. Mr. Pickles. Oh, sorry, Mr. Captain Pickles. Apologies. If I had a run button, I would be using it, but there's no run button. You're just a kid. So you're just having a nice wee walk. And we're going to go back and get our face kicked in by an undine. I should have saved, actually. That's Timmy. Um... We will talk to F Temi just now and hopefully she won't kill me. She might actually. Hmm. Oh, I didn't want to use one of these already. Hmm. It'll be Sod's Law if I, if I try to talk and then she kills me. Wait a minute. Uh... Demi's face has fallen off. It's going to the right quite a bit. I mean, I'm not saying this, this is to do with this game. I think it's more the fact that this game made her do that. But yeah, that's quite creepy. Anyway. Uh, apologies, I'm just going to try talking to her. If I die, my bad. Hi, I'm Timmy. Yep, 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 you are Timmy. Yep, 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 that's... Too far, Timmy. Oof. Right, oh my god. Timmy's actually quite difficult with that attack, to be honest. Please, no more monsters. I just want to save, so I've got my full health. Uh, just got this way. Undine. Because we're a glutton for punishment. Yay, yay. Right. Let's try this again. That's it then. No more running away. 
on guard. Here we go. Let's try this again. I'm gonna take a quick drink. And let's give this a shot. So yeah, we know as long as we're green, we can't move. I like how she does attack, which is really just a really pathetic attack. Thinking that we're that bad. Oh. Moved too quickly. And now, sunlight is just within our reach. It smells like sushi. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Oh, I did actually good in that. Run! No, and I leave me, leave me, leave me, leave me. You won't get away from me this time. So you think? I brought health items this time. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. Don't know if she thinks killing us is a, uh, is a favor, but no human has ever made it past Asgore. Oh yeah. One good thing with Undyne is she is really difficult to try to obviously block the attacks for, but she does them in patterns. So as long as you know the patterns, then you can actually get through her not too badly. Well, if you're if you're quick, I'm I'm, I'm not very good at pressing the uh, the arrow buttons. Killing you now is an act of mercy. Although I was quick that time. I'm very good at eating my own words. So stop being so damn resilient! And I did it that time too! I am very good at eating my own words. Run! No! You've escaped from me for the last time! Right. So this is where it starts to get a bit more hard because she has some of the arrows which are backwards. Alphys told me humans were determined. Oh. Yep. Need to remember yellow is backwards. I see now what she meant by that. We're resilient. Haha. -ha. But I'm determined too. Yep. Oh. Uh, wrong way, wrong way. Um, continue on just now, I think. Aye. Determined to end this right now. Well, I got that one. Uh, we'll keep on going. Right now! I will... Let's see, I was at 12. I'll take an item. I'll take a crab apple. Right. Now! Oh! I actually moved that one away from when it was healing me. And that one as well. Well. This is where I now do bad again. Ha! Ha! It's confusing when there's ones that are backwards and ones that are the normal way. It's trying to remember which way it's supposed to be. And then Suplex is a huge boulder just because she can. Do 
Yeah, die already, you little brat. That's not very nice. I did that the wrong way around. I'm gonna die here. Yeah. I'm not very good at memorizing the patterns. Thank goodness we saved it. Where did my save go? We did save it, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, playing it on uh, PS4. So, I don't know if the arrow keys are easier or if the analog stick is easier, to be honest. Um, I think the arrow keys, to be honest. Because I find if I use the analog stick, it kind of goes the wrong way. But yes, it's on PS4. Yes, yes, and I we've heard this all before. Try this again. Yes, we know. So I'm not too bad at these first parts, is when she starts doing the reverse ones with the normal ones, that's when it is so confusing. I also find sometimes I move it too quickly. I'm getting ready for the next arrow a bit too early. For years we've dreamed of a happy ending. Go act and say your attack is not strong. What do you mean? As in plead or as in challenge? Does that bring down her attack or...? I'm sorry, I don't know what you're saying yes to. There's a bit of a delay in it. Challenge. Right, okay. I try challenging her. I see, that's what it does. You thought you'd have me stuck there, but I actually managed to do it well. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Oh, wrong way. Enough warming up. Oh, I'm missing those bottom ones. So we'll take a crab apple just now. Mercy, ha! Oh, uh, yeah, I should just mind you. I didn't have time to heal. Ah, that's fine. I dodged that. All right. Run. You won't get away from me this time. Honestly, I'm doing you a favour. Again, dying doesn't seem like a favour. No human has ever made it past Asgore. So I can do that one, not too bad. Two X? Two times? I'm sorry, Freddy, I'm not sure I understand. Killing you now is an act of mercy. So stop being so damn resilient. Oh, I thought that was going to be down away. I forgot I was on red. She doesn't want to hit me though, that's okay. Yeah, I fought against Asgore as well. I've actually completed this on pacifist mode. 
I'm just going through it just now though to try to get as many secrets as possible um, playing through the pacifist mode. Once I've done this though I'm gonna try and go back through in genocide but I do know genocide is very hard. You've escaped from me for the last time. Alphys told me humans were determined. That we are. I hate this bit. This is when it starts to get confusing. I see now what she meant by that. Oh. Aha. Yeah. I've heard of that. Um, sorry, is that a skeleton of pun? I wonder who you mean by that. Uh, but yeah, um, the, the genocide version, I know it's hard. No spoilers though, guys. Um, just because I'm playing us all, so just in case anyone hasn't seen the story. Yeah. I know Undyne is really hard in the other one. Um, that's why I'm playing in this version first, get myself a little bit used to it. And then I'll try in genocide. But again, I'll be doing that live as well. So if you want to see um, <laughs> me attempt to do that, then just give me a follow either on YouTube or, or Twitch or something. Aye, I know pacifist is the easiest way, but it's just to try to get me a bit more um, practicing because I've not played it for a very long time and I did not want to go genocide straight away because I knew how that would end up. But I'm determined to. Uh, that way, that way. Ah, I did that the wrong way there. Um, do do do. Continue. Determined to end this right now. Oof. Uh, I think we'll do one more. Oof, that was a bit too close. I didn't even see me move the arrow there, but apparently I managed to save myself. Undying, just let me run away now. Please. Um, I will probably take... Oh, I had a quiche. Never mind. Come on and they let me run. Uh that way and no uh, and that way 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 and that way. Dodged. I'm just gonna run. Don't know. Hey! What's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Uh huh. Stop running away. No. Can I run again? I can. I'm just gonna keep running. Help me, sons! armor so hot but I can't give up oh my god she's dead she looks dry let's get her some more it's nice that this uh, war is conveniently here We'll help her out. It'd be really cruel if you just sat there and drank in front of her. That would be really cruel, but we're not going to do that. A thank you would be nice. Bye then. Oh yeah, forget Sans disappears after that. Oh well then. 
Oh, hello. Oh, k k k k k k. I was thirsty, so came over from waterfall to get a drink. Thanks. A save. Seen such a strange laboratory in a place like this. You're filled with determination. And I didn't die too many times from Undyne. So, if I remember rightly, we can't go into the lab yet. Or do we go into the lab? I can't remember. Oh, here we go. So we've got a, lov a little uh, riverboat person who takes us back and forth between areas. But, actually, yeah, we're, go we're going to go back. Tra-la-la. I am the river man. Or my the river woman. Doesn't really matter. I'd love to ride my boat. Would you care to join me? Yeah. Where will we go today? We're going to go to Waterfall. We're going to see if we can see Undyne. Then we're off. We're going to be best buds of Undyne. Ah. Uh, is, is that it? Thanks for that. Come again sometime. Tra la la. And uh, which way is it again to Undyne's house? Ah, this way. And we want to go up here. No, no. This one. That's it. Playing the piano angrily, it sounds like. Hi, Virus. Oh, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Yeah, let's hang out. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. I'm sure she does. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Because that's how one-on-one -on -one training goes. Hi, I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? Papyrus just spinning around. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you. On their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. It's a lot of bones. So are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie. I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> Later. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait. I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you. Huh? Right? Yes. Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Harsh. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus. Wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? 
Huh. What a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Strange kind of revenge, but okay. Why don't you have a seat? Nice house. I can't believe he just—I can't believe he leapt for the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing. One time, Alpha C's, uh friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. What else you got here? You want to see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Nice. What about the drawer? I want to look at the drawer. Haha. <laughs> this oven is some top of the line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. Never tried it. Well, I know, actually, no, I haven't had any of Thingy's Pie, but okay. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to 10 times their size. Right? Yeah. Ha! I knew it! When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. Thank god she didn't use a sword against me, just a spear. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? We uh, will take a little seat. I'm gonna progress. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set. What would you like? Hey! Don't get up! You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Uh, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Thanks. I can I have sugar? That sugar's for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like, the ice cream woman? Uh, don't know how that makes sense, okay. Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are their ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Yeah. What? Really? That rules! Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. Heh, <laughs> that's fine. I think soda's gross too. Rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. Huh? Why do I have it? <laughs> what about hot chocolate? Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered. That container is empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept putting, uh, kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. I'm no, I don't have a beard. Tea box, blatantly correct choice. Tea, huh? Coming right up. Did 
It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Nice sound effects. Okay, it's all done. Thanks. Here we are. I'm just gonna casually keep my spear at your face. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Thanks. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. I had no other choice. Golden flower tea? That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Thanks. Sort of. You know, I was pretty. I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes. And from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to be get to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight, like uh, Papyrus. Papyrus isn't a dork. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look. He was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. Make friends of everybody. That's one way to win a war. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, uh, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus. His cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you the, his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid? Yes. We're gonna be best friends. Just casually pick me up by the head. Let's start with the sauce. I like how she keeps her vegetables and things just above the kitchen so she can just knock them down. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. We're gonna do it strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah. Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Okay. 
Now it's my turn. Yeah. She does it in one punch. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now, we add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah. Don't know why she's screaming at that point. Uh, just put them in a the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely, we're gonna put them in fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. Clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm into it. All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. Stir in the pasta, okay. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. I don't think that's right, but okay. Ready? Let's do it. Stir harder. I'm trying. Harder. Harder. Uh, let me do it. That's not stirring. Ha. <laughs> That's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove top symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Keep going. Hotter. Hotter, darn it. Hotter. Wait, that's two. She did ask to make it hotter. At least the cup on the table's okay. Uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. No, I'm I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can re regain my lost pride. Now come on. Hit me with all you've got. I'm gonna do a little wimpy attack. A little... You pretend to swing at Undyne of all your might. <laughs> what? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <sighs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid, saccharine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now, I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Thanks. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fady to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. You know, way to be positive. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh. And if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, 
and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. At least it'll be nice and warm. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. And this is a really funny thing, if you phone Papyrus straight away. So we'll give Papyrus a wee ring. Let's go Papyrus and then down. Uh, huh, <laughs> yeah, that's my house. Hi, Undyne. How did you get here so fast? I ran. Wow, we Undyne. Someday I want to be as strong and sweaty as you. <laughs> that's not weird at all. So we've made friends with Undyne. So I think what we'll do is we'll probably head to the last... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. This way. Yeah. So we'll head to... Let's see, here's my health. Everything looks fine. Back to where we were. Annoying dog on the boat. Of course. Tra-la-la. Care for a ride? Yes. We should go to Hotland. Then we're off. Somehow you're going to the left, but we're still managing to get to Hotland, which is to the right. You know. Logic. Tra la la. Timmy Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. Yeah, we know already. We've been to Timmy Village. Thanks. Come again sometime. Tra la la. The the boat person is, is quite nice. Again, I don't know if they're man or woman or what, but they're they're really cool. Right. I believe we can go into the laboratory just now, so yeah. Let's go in and see what's in here. Not weird at all. My god, I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed and it's all messy and... Calm down. Um, uh, hiya. I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. But, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually... Since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle. No problem. Oh, well. Actually, uh, there's just a, a, a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a, a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently, I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments, like, uh, anti, anti-human combat features. Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove these features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. 
and uh no, he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. Just what I needed. <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. I feel like there's a convenience here. Did you hear something? Oh no. Oh yes. Now I know a lot of people, there's a lot of discussion over what kind of voice Metaton should have. I'm on the same idea that, I don't know if any of you seen Jacksepticeye play, but Metaton's voice I feel needs to do the robotic thing. So that's what I'm going to do with Metaton here. Welcome beauties. to today's quiz show. Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everyone, give a big hand for our wonderful contestants. Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule, answer correctly or you die. I love the music for Metaton. Now I've actually played through with Metaton and I have actually tried to go through and fail all the questions to see if Metaton can actually kill you. He actually can. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever seen the fight with Metaton. Basically we're going to ask, we're going to answer some questions. If we get a question wrong he zaps us. But again, as I said, I've actually gone through this to see if you can try to fail. Uh, you can't, unfortunately. He just, he just won't kill you. We're gonna cry, though. Screaming is against the rules. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? So you also notice uh, Alphys has given us a little bit of clue in the background. So we have D. More questions. Right, sounds like a good one. The quiz show continues. Continue to cry. <laughs> Screaming is against the rules. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Ask Dreamer. Correct, what a terrific answer. I wonder if we can we continue to cry? I don't know if anything different happens. No, I just say screaming again. Oh well. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Metal and magic. Too easy for you, huh? I would just spare him just now. Here's another easy one for you. Uh, Thanks, Alphys. Wonderful. I'm astounded, folks. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Thanks, Alphys. Correct. You're so lucky today. Let's play memory game. What monster is this? <laughs> That's a fine funny. Looks like a frog, it doesn't it? But Alphys is saying D, Metaton. How big headed. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? <laughs> Alphys is looking at us. Heck yeah! Great answer. I love it. Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Metaton? Thanks Alphys. Of course, that was easy for you. Time to break out the big guns. In the Dayton simulation game, oh, oh, I know this one. It's snail ice cream. In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's snail flavor and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very, very powerful message about friendship and... Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. 
You aren't helping our contestants, are you? Ooh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Alphys have a crush on? See, Alphys, I told you it was obvious. Oh, she's blushing. Even the human figured it out. Yes, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together. Sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. Megatons or Metatons are so sassy. Well, well, well. With Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this, but, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. <laughs> Rockets away. Thanks, Metaton. Oh, well, that was certainly something. You've got a crush on a dine. The That last question? He wasn't supposed to ask that one. Wait, wait. Let me give you my phone number. Th then, maybe, if you need help, I could... Wh where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't ha even have text in. W wait a second, please. <laughs> there was a scream there. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do text in. Items, it's got a keychain. Key chain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> he, he, he. I'm going to the bathroom. Our wee feet are dancing away in there. Alright, so. We have missed us. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. Excuse me, you just seen me. For now, I gotta call them up, the human, and guide them. Yeah, because we don't get Alphys's number. Vulcan strolls in. If I remember right, we either encourage or we hug Vulcan. We'll try giving Vulcan a hug. Give Vulcan a hug. Warms your heart and your whole body. Ouch. Defense dropped. Ah, so lovely. No, Vulcan, don't do this to me. Have I got healing items? I do. Gonna call them in a minute. Should maybe go back and save actually. Oh mind you if I do, we're just gonna get another monster again. Never mind, never mind. We're just we're just gonna continue. If I die, I die. Wee. The wishing sound of steam and cogs fills you with determination. I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this, LMAO. Right, okay. Oh. Thunderplane gets in the way. Not on purpose or anything. 
Thunder Plane we approach, I believe. Hi, Clax. Eee, human. Uh, we, oh, no, I didn't touch that plane close enough. Ha. I think, yeah, I need to do that a few more times. Try that again. Got it. And... Ah, I need one more. Nothing much, Clax. What about yourself? Hopefully one more time should be enough. Aha, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Thunderplane runs away. Uh, I'm just going to quickly save since we just bought... I can do! So, oh! OMG! I've had my claw over the last digit for five minutes! OMG! I'm just gonna do it! I'm just gonna call! Bye! Pyrope. Now, pyro, we heat up pyro. Um, I actually tried to see if there was a name to heating up pyro, but it just gets more and more blurred. So we'll, we'll heat up first of all. So you see it starts to go a bit wonky. It continues to do that if you continuously heat up and it, it goes crazy. It's hard to actually read anything. Okay, so we... Oh, we want to go through the flames. Ah, hit the rope. So I think we only need to heal up twice. Yeah, I went all the way through this where it got to the point that the writing was no longer able to be read. Ah. No, that was through the ropes. I knew that was going to happen. Don't lose hope. Mada, stay determined. That's right. Good thing we saved. Yes, we know, Alphys. You're a little bit scared. I can't remember what was down this I think there's more items down this way, if I remember rightly. Pyrope! Right, try and do better this time. Right, we need it. No, I went through the ropes. Um, just do it again. One more. It's super hot. Oh, these are the like grenade things. Ah. You think I would actually be alright against Pyro, considering I did play against him for ages for a while. Right, we'll leave Pyro Bay, we'll not go that way. I think it is just an item down that way. I don't think there's anything uh, story-wise or continuation down that way, so we'll just go this way. Click. Whoever was calling hung up before you answered it. You know who that was. Uh, uh hi. So, the blue lasers... Uh, I mean, Alpha's here, hi! The blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Orange ones, um, you, you have to be moving and they, uh, they won't, um, move through those ones. Uh, hi! Bye, Alphys. OMG, I did it! Claws haven't shook like that since Undyne called me to ask about the weather. Alphys, you're gonna make me walk in a blue laser. Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did she call me? Oops. There we go. 
It's a switch. Lasers are deactivated. Excellent. Oh my god! I forgot to tell them where to go! It's it's one path, to be honest. Cute pic of me right now. How can she be so nervous? Oh, I see, right. It's full of a garbage can with several pink glittery filters over it. As in she's in the garbage can, or...? Uh, uh, Alpha's here! The, the northern door will stay locked until you... Uh, solve the puzzles on the right and left. I... I think you sh should go to the right first. What happens if we go left first, though? Whee! Alpha's here. That blue laser seems totally impassable. B but as the royal scientist, I, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll uh, hack into the, the Hotland laser database and take it out. Thanks. We were hanging out when suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules. They've got to cancel school over this. Finally, someone turned off that laser. Now that we're free, we can, well, uh, I guess we'll just keep standing here. Lazy. So, ah, yes, that's, that's right, yeah. Done. back over and now we're gonna go this way the way to work is blocked so I had time to catch Metaton's show on my phone the special effects were amazing that human almost looked real uh, wasn't me Metaton yeah he's the most popular star in the underground his fan club probably has at least two no, three dozen members. Wow. Wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzle. I've already solved one. Right. Now I think I just need to do that. Yeah. Wow, you solved it. I'm impressed. You must be a total nerd. Thanks. Fox. Cat head thing. Oh! Went too fast. Whatever. I'll just explain it. I've, I've done it. Uh... I think, um, uh, hey, uh, about the puzzles on, on left and right, they're a bit difficult to explain, but, uh, you already solved them? Uh, awesome! Bye! Whee! Hmm, ominous? Uh, hey, it's kind of dark in there, isn't it? Don't worry. I'll hack into the light system and brighten it up. Oh no. Oh yes. Welcome, beauties, to the Underground's premiere cooking show. Cooking with a killer robot. Preheat your ovens because we've got a very special recipe for you today. We're going to be making a cake. My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients. Everyone give them a big hand. Uh, thanks. We'll need sugar, milk and egg. 
Thanks, Metaton. Milk, eggs, in the fridge. No way, darling. They'd get cold. Aren't they supposed to? This isn't a show about washing your hands, darling. That's on Wednesdays. <sighs> that sounds like a fun show. Find the eggs. Find the milk. Find the sugar. Looks like flour. MTT Brands Microwave. Origin of the MTT Challenge. Put your food in and set the microwave on high for five minutes. If you can still recognize your meal, we'll double your money back. What a, what a guarantee. Great job. Just put them in the middle of this counter. I'm stuck on you. Perfect. Great job, beautiful. We've got all of the ingredients we need to bake the cake. Milk, sugar, eggs. Oh my, what a magnificent moment. How could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient. A human soul. Hello? I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Uh, wait, wait a second. Couldn't you make a... Uh, couldn't you use uh, uh, Couldn't you make a substitution in the recipe? A substitution? You mean use a different non-human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone's... Vegan. Vegan. Ah, uh, well, that's a brilliant idea, Alphys. Actually, I happen to have an option right here. MTT brand always convenient human soul flavor substitute. A can of which is just over on that counter. It's all the way over there. Well, darling, why don't you go get it? What's the matter? Not a fan? That's too bad. MTT brand uses only the freshest artificial ingredients and chemicals. Sounds healthy. By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get the can in the next one minute, we'll just have to go back to the original plan. So, better start climbing, beautiful. I mean, I, I, I could. Oh no, there's not enough time to climb up. Fortunately, I might have a plan. When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few features. I don't think this is a feature, but... You see that huge button that says Jetpack? Watch this. Did she press it or did I press it? There. You should have just enough fuel to reach the top. Now get up there. Don't met it on, leave me alone. Oh. Ooh. Ah. See, that is more like flower. Oh, jeez. Metaton, you're using all the ingredients for this cake. Ah. 
Naha, still made it. My, my. It seems you've bestied me. But only because you had the help of the brilliant Dr. Alphys. Oh, I love to think of what would have happened to you without her. Well, toodles. Oh, yes, about the substitution. Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it. Did the thing get sure? Wow, we we did it. We we really did it. A great job out there, team. Well, uh, anyway, uh, let's keep heading forward. So I think I'm probably going to end the stream here. An ominous structure looms in the distance. You're filled with determination. So I'm trying to keep it where we've got at least a, a boss per stream that I'm doing. Um, I don't think I've got too too much further until the next boss. So we're just going to save it here just now. Um, and then I think I'll end the stream here just now. But if you have missed the start of this, uh, where we did go to see the Dog Shrine and all its crazy gloriness, um, then you can watch this again either on Twitch, uh, or I am also uploading upload, upload these videos to YouTube as well, where you can watch them there. They will be staying on YouTube as well. Again, exact same name, Sazy Plums. Just type that in and you'll find uh, my channel. If you do want to keep up to date with any other uh, streams that I'm doing then just give me a follow. I'm also looking to see about doing a sort of drinking game soon. Uh, I've got a poll ongoing with that so if you have um, if you have a, a minute even just to go on and pick what you think would be the best game for that. But that's me done for today and I hope you all have a nice evening. Bye bye!